Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at Bluetooth. In this episode specifically, we're taking a look at how to add a stereo headset to your Bluetooth-enabled device. Now, this could be something that you do either with a notebook computer, a desktop computer, or something like the iPad, which is a more mobile device, which is maybe why you want something that's wireless. So you can tuck this away in your, into your uh, briefcase, and then this can uh, be around your ears while you're walking around. You don't have to have this out and ready. One of the nice things about the newer Bluetooth specifications is something called A2DP. A2DP is a stereo specification that allows high quality streaming. Now in the past, you only had low quality mono streaming, so only in one ear. Now when you were using Bluetooth strictly to talk on the phone, and you had an earpiece stuck into one ear only, that wasn't so big a problem. You could actually hear fairly well, even though the quality was low and it was only in one ear. But when you want to stream music, it sounded pretty lousy. So you want something that's a little bit higher end, and the A2DP specification on newer Bluetooth allows that to happen. One of the other things that's nice about A2DP is it allows player controls. So on each of these stereo headsets, typically you'll find things like volume control, track search, you'll see a pause and play, and of course the ability to take a phone call through the headset if you want. Most of them generally also have a microphone. So the first step in connecting your stereo headset to your device is to open up the Bluetooth control panel on the device. Now this could be on your notebook or, again, as we're going to do on this one, on the iPad. So when you open up the Bluetooth control panel on the iPad, you'll see a list of all the devices that are currently connected or have been connected and are currently not connected, either because they're not nearby or because they're turned off. It also puts the iPad into a state that makes it discoverable and allows it to start looking for other devices. So the next step, of course, is to set up the device, in this case the stereo headset, in a parable mode so that the iPad can find it. You'll want to check the manual to find out how to do that on your particular device. In the case of this particular device, you start from when it's off, hold down the on button, and just keep holding it until it goes into pairing mode. It'll first turn on, and then it'll start to pair. Now the device in question should appear in the list on the iPad. And to get it connected, you'll tap on it, and it'll attempt to connect. You may receive a notice saying it's attempting to pair. In this case, you'll actually click on pair. And then it'll pair the two devices. Once you're paired, you should be able to hear the audio from your device, whether it's the iPad or a notebook, on your headset. Depending on the device you're using for media playback, various controls will be enabled on this. Not all devices support all of the playback controls. Again, this will vary somewhat depending on the headset that you have and the device you're playing back from. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we'll show you how to connect other types of Bluetooth devices together.